This video will demonstrate how to set up da de da CW keyer by qsonet.com, which is a Windows program, to operate in Ubuntu Linux 12.04 using Wine. I'm using the KX Studio repositories, and they have uh, excellent programs available, uh, including the Wine ASIO driver, which I found to work best in this situation we're able to bring up three separate instances of da 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 in order to be able to use our bug, iambic paddle, and stray key all at the same time in order to send Morse code over the internet on ICW with the Jack Audio Connection Kit. This is also a KX Studio uh, program uh, written by Falk TX, I think is his code name. This is uh, mostly written for professional musicians, but it works great for Morse code over the internet. So we're able to use all three instances of the da 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 to bring them up in Wine, send the outputs to the input of Mumble and to the sound card. I'm using a USB sound card for this video. You can also hook up a keyboard sending CW sender like FL Digi. So I'm taking the out from there, going to the input of Mumble. So all of these are active at the same time. So let me demonstrate how that works. So for the iambic here, the da 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 is active. And for the straight key, da 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 is active still. And even the bug is active. So you can hook all three up at the same time, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Here's the bug. And this is only possible in Linux and using Wine using the same COM port. All three of these are using COM2 in Wine. When you try to do this in Windows, you get an immediate error if you try to use the same COM port. So if you had three different COM ports, this might work. But that would definitely require more hardware and a lot more wiring. So I'm using one USB to serial port adapter. I'm wiring it up with all these pins and if you'll select the pins as you see here for the straight key for the bug and for the iambic keyer and this is one way if you're left-handed or right-handed you, you just switch to the A and B between the DSR and the CTS for iambic and you can the wiring the hard wiring for the da 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 doesn't matter as much this needs to stay the same here. We're using separate pins on the iambic so you can adjust the speed, the pitch, or the weight. Try to keep all the volumes at the same level. And for the bug and the straight key, since they're sharing pin 9, you'll need to keep the pitch the same and the volume the same the key speed for the bug can you can send the dit speed however you like here what we're doing is we're going to hardwire for both the bug and the straight key we're going to send uh, a wire from pin 9 over to the hot lead for the straight key and over to the da side of the of the bug paddle and then on the dit side of the bug paddle we're going to take a wire from pin 1 over to the bug and for da da da, you just wire up a connection to the DSR and the CTS, which is pin 6 and pin 8, and send that over to your iambic keyer connection. And then pin 4 on all of these is the ground. So you run a ground to the straight key, to the bug, and to your iambic keyer. And that's pretty much the setup for that. So we've demonstrated how all this sounds, and it all works at the same time using the Jack Audio Connection Kit, using Cadia as the connection bay. So we're sending CW Audio over to Mumble. Let's uh, listen just for a second. We'll send out... Uh, hear somebody in there just a little bit, so I won't bother them. Let's see if uh, Wally's available. And 
we'll see if we can call him. So that's calling him with our straight key. Let's see if we can call him with our bug, uh, excuse me, the iambic key. And we can even bring up, since in our patch bay we have FL Digi, we can send. Hey, there he is. So he's going QRQ. Let me see if I can get him to lower it. Okay, he's going to slow down to 25. Yeah, let's make sure I've got this hooked up. Mumble out. Okay. There we go.
Okay, the video is crunching some of the CPU, so we're getting just a little bit of packet loss, or he's having some internet trouble there. The uh, captions over here on Mumble allow comments and pictures. It's kind of fun. Uh, okay, so it works pretty good. We're able to use FL Digi in all three instances of Dada for iambic bug and a straight key. Going over to Mumble, have fun over the internet, talking to uh, your buddies with our ICW server in California. So let's show you how to set this up. This video somewhat assumes that you know how to do software repositories, software sources, and repositories. It also assumes that you know how to register a USB to serial port adapter if you have to use one. It also assumes that you know how to take the serial port and get it into Wine as a COM port. And these links helped me, so I'm going to include those links for you. The DB pinout is another one since we're going to use pin 1. We're going to use pin 9, pin 8, 6, and 4 to get this all set up. QSONET download is here. So download the file, download the manual. The manual shows you the basic pinout for iambic keys, and the pinout will show you how to get the other ones set up. In order for this USB to serial port adapter to be registered each time, we've set a mod probe USB serial, and you have to get the vendor ID numbers and product ID numbers, and, and those two links should help you to do that so that you each time the computer reboots, it loads this module so you don't so that it will continue to work and then synaptic package manager again you've got wine asio that you need and the cadence and all the jack audio tools once you choose cadence that should get everything else you need to get this to work and up to speed fl digi you're probably already familiar with and that's our keyboard sending and the only other thing is just how to set up Da, da, da. So all you have to do is wire up that port key with the pins and take them right over to your ambic keyer connections, your bug connections, and your straight key connections. On a straight key we're using pin 9 and pin 4 which is ground. On the bug we're using pin 1, pin 9, and pin 4 is the ground. And for left and right side you can determine how you want that to be wired up. But on dot to da, you need to keep this for the bug, just like you see it here with the two dots on A and B right by DCD, and on the straight key right by pin 9. On iambic, the DSR and the CTS pins are used for dits and dies, and pin 4 for the ground, so wire that up to your iambic key. Since these pins are not shared with any of the other two dot to da's, you can adjust these key speed, the pitch, and the weight, however you desire, and it won't affect the other two. But since these two connect on pin 9 to keep from getting two separate tones, you have to get the pitch the same. So set your pitch however you want the bug and the straight key to sound. You can independently adjust the key speed for the bug dits however you want on this setting right here. I have this one set for 20. You can set the pitch however you want as long as they're both the same. All three volumes should be the same so that you get equal volume going over to the input of Mumble and to your sound card. And that's pretty much how it works. It's a lot of fun being able to wire any from anything to anything in the Jack Audio Connection Kit. And one of the other things I found, let's see if I can bring it up, is called the Zeta. Uh, it, Jack Bridge, AJ Bridge, right here. This is fantastic. This is an ounce of Jack Bridge, and it has supposedly has better sampling rate conversions, and it operates better. And I'm using this formula right here, Zeta dash A2J device hardware two, and I'm changing the name with the dash J to USB microphone, and also to the other. I think it'd be this one right here, and to the Behringer UCA 222. So I have two Zetas running, one for the mic and one for the USB sound card. 
and again you can wire from anything to anything and everything's going to the input of mumble if you had a microphone you wanted to speak in mumble you could hook it up to the system which is the just the mic in jack on my laptop if you had something on the web you wanted to play you could take it from the pulse audio jack sync and run that to the input of mumble and on cadence you can select where you whether you want the Alice audio bridge to be the bridge type it also has pulse audio bridge and I'm using the pulse jack bridge to auto start so that the whole audio automatically is ready to go so it sends everything through the pulse audio right to jack and jack to the system sound card I could also send it from here to the, any other sound card I could also send it to the uh, jack source which is what the video is using for its sound anyway that's pretty much how you you can set up multiple instances instances of dot da CW Kier by QSONET.com to send at the same time bug straight key and iambic paddling to send Morse code over the internet on ICW. Thanks for watching.